Hello and welcome to Project Big Ben. This is the pilot for a series of videos documenting the building of a wall clock. I use the term wall loosely as it will actually hang from the ceiling, but more of that later. I won't reveal all the features just yet as there's an element of doubt and if any turn out to be more of Phil's follies, they can be discreetly withdrawn and no one will ever know. Most of the design has been done but mainly on paper and computer, so now it's time to actually build a full-size prototype to see if it's really viable. The key requirements were an accurate hands-free timing system, so no faffing about every six months to correct for summer time or to make other adjustments, and of course a pendulum. My limited mechanical skills ruled out any fancy gearing or escapement mechanism so apologies to clock purists out there, this is not a conventional geared clock. It uses an external time source for accuracy and stepper motors to drive the hands. Now the external time signal means the pendulum swing does not have to be accurate, as with a conventional clock, so there's no need to build in mechanisms such as temperature compensation and so on. It can just be free running. Here's the proof of concept lash-up, which was built in 2018. The radio receiver picks up timing policies from the NPL, or MSF, radio transmitter in Cumbria, in the UK, and this used to be known as the rugby clock before it was relocated. The timing policies are decoded by a microcontroller, which then drives the three stepper motors for the hands. This all worked fine, although it was so long ago I've forgotten what all the buttons do. I think this is synchronising the hands to the incoming signal, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the bottom line is it was all shelved back then, as I didn't know how to do the hard bit, the mechanical design, and in particular how to make three concentric shafts without a lathe, and how to drive them. Until now, that is. So that set the scene. I'll set up a playlist, there's a link in the description below, and add new videos to it as this prototype either progresses or is abandoned. So hope to see you next time.